Well, then, Chase, you know, when I say, like, what are you going to do for an encore? I didn't think you were going to hit another two home runs, including the Grand Slam, but just tell us, like, how, how have you been, like, kind of connecting with them all these past three games? Uh, I mean, just really staying with my approach and staying where my feet are. That was a big thing. Blake, they told us Friday is, like, stay in the present moment. Like, stay, don't worry about what happened yesterday. Like, at midnight, I flushed what happened yesterday and came back out today and did my thing again. How big of a thing has that been? Like, you know, when y'all scored 21, and it's like, okay, that's good, but like, you know, now we get to focus on on the next game. How has that approach kind of been helping this team? Just like carrying the momentum, like just letting us carry that momentum and ride into the next series and just keep working every day to get better. You know, when you were coming up the bat, first at bat, and you saw that ball hit, what was your, what was kind of going through your mind when you realized that ball was going to be gone? I mean, I knew it off the bat. I mean, it was another cool feeling. Like, I mean, to square the ball up, and did my thing again. And then, of course, in your second at bat, you broke the record for most, as Texas State broke most home runs in a single game. What does it mean to be the one that, that was able to achieve that moment? It's awesome. I mean, it's an unbelievable moment. I knew going in, they were talking about it in the dugout just trying to keep it quiet and everything. And when I connected and I saw it went out, I was like, I mean, I did it. I mean, it'll be a moment I'll never forget. Talk about the approach going into that grand slam hit. I mean, you just took the first pitch and just, I mean, absolutely melted that thing. Uh, what were you thinking whenever that pitch came down? Just seeing, getting in there, seeing my pitch, see a ball up that I could drive somewhere. And pretty much it. You saw it? Yeah, I saw it and did it. You know, if we would have came up to you and said, like, oh, you're going to start your Texas State career with, like, three straight home runs to, you know, at your first day of bats, would, would you believe us if we... No, I didn't. <laughs> not a single thought went through my head that I was going to hit three home runs in my first three of bats. You think Coach is going to give you a little more playing time next couple next week? We'll see. i got to keep grinding every day and earn my spot. Well, Dylan, you know, I keep... Uh, topping, I was running totals these past three games. I thought 13 was going to be the most, and it turns out like that's the few, fewest runs I've scored in this series. Like, what's right. been clicking with this offense? Yeah, I mean, it's coming out and having fun, and, you know, sticking to our approach. You know, coach put a great game plan, game plan for us, and we come out and we execute it. Come out and have fun. You know, y'all break a school record for eight home runs in a single in a single game. What does it mean to be the team that breaks that record that was set back in 2021? Eight? We had eight today? Yeah, eight. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, that's insane, actually. Um, Special group of guys, uh, as you see. The potential, the power is insane. I mean, you see one through nine, it's come anytime. Um, just continue to swing in, let everything else happen. I didn't have anything. Uh, what's been the key for y'all keeping up this offensive momentum, especially through these past three games? We're sticking to our approach. I mean, coach put a great game plan. We come out, we stick to it, and we have fun, and that's really it. You know, we were got done talking to Chase. I mean, when you see someone in his first three at bats at three home runs, including the Grand Slam, how has he been killing it these past? Kids on the road, you don't see that. You don't see that probably in a few years, to be honest. I mean, the kid is special, as you see. Um, I mean, like you said, we have a lot of baseball to play. He's going to be there, and hopefully we continue to keep what we're doing. What was that celebration like when he hit that Grand Slam to break the record? It was good. I mean, the kid's swinging it. I mean, he's hit two. Three now, I mean, it's just keep going, keep going. Last season, you were a big freshman coming in. Now this season as a sophomore, you see these young guys coming in making a statement. What does that mean to you and the program that uh, that all these young guys are going to be able to come up and, and just help help for the next couple of years? Right, I mean, as you see, we're in the right path, in the right direction. I mean, coaches are doing a great job, obviously, recruiting. Um, I mean, it's the guys coming out and having fun every day. I mean, we love each other, we ride for each other. So I mean, it makes it pretty easy for us to come out and compete every day. So. You know, with all this run scoring, uh, it's hard to forget, like, you know, this pitching staff has been doing pretty good. How, how you know, when y'all put up so many runs, the pitching staff continues to uh, limit the amount of runs the other team does. How does that make you sell as an offense? Right, I mean, we, you know, we, we, we trust the pitchers. You know, they're going to go out and they're going to compete all nine innings. So we continue to do our job. We know that they're going to do their job and just go out and have fun. Uh, just uh, a lot of runs, a lot of good things happen. Uh, that, that's hard to do three days in a row. You know, offensively, I, I challenge them today that I want to come out and make sure, you know, the first first inning we have great at bats and we rolled up, I think, four baseballs in the first inning. Uh, Medrano got us off to a good start, you know, from the strike zone. And, you know, as soon as you give a team a little bit of hope or some, some momentum, uh, you never know what's going to happen. So uh, they came in, had great approaches uh, from the very start uh, through the very end. And so, uh, really, really, you know, made some errors today, but first time we did that um, over the weekend. And so uh, really proud how they came out this weekend. So we'll reassess through practice and get ready for a really good Oral Roberts team next weekend. You know, Coach, 
Yeah, after the first game, I was like, man, 13 runs, how are y'all going to top this? And then 20 runs, I was like, oh, how are y'all going to top this? And y'all just keep uh, setting new marks and new marks. What is it about this offense that just continues, like, tearing the cover off this ball? Yeah, they, they, they've been really good of, of, of attacking balls in the middle of the field, to be honest with you. They're not up there trying to do – honestly, I, I really don't think they're up there trying to hit home yeah. runs. They're just trying to take good swings um, in the middle of the field. And, uh, they're getting barrel to it and getting on time with it, and uh, good things happen. So uh, a lot, a lot of hits in the middle of the field for us, and so we got to continue that approach as we continue out through the season. But um, I, I think part of it too, you know, you see the guys that, that weren't starting, they come in and get some great hits as well. There's a, you know, when you got competitive guys, you got depth, you know, they, they want their chances too. And so guys like Chase Moore is, you know, just unreal what that guy's done in his three at bats. But you know, when they get their moment, they they want more at bats, and so it's making everybody just continue to compete and, and continue to rise to the occasion, which is which is fun from a, a coach's side. Speaking of Chase, three swings, three home runs. What does that mean for, for him as a freshman to be able to do that his first three at-bats? Yeah, I mean, we've always known he's a stud, I'll be honest with you. Like, from, from the recruiting days, um, you know, really, it, he, he pitched in the area codes as a pitcher. He didn't even get to hit. And so, uh, you know, that's another thing you guys haven't seen yet because he's kept recovering from Tommy John. And he won't get to throw this year, but next year. Um, but he, he's just a gamer. You know, he's just a really, really good player. Um, and he seems to always be the MVP of every term he plays. And, um, you know, so far in three at-bats, three home runs, pretty good percentages. I think he wants to hit some more for us. So, um, you know, so that, that was just really awesome. I've, I've never seen that before. So uh, I've seen it in the first at-bat, but not all three. What does it mean, you know, hitting eight home runs in a game, you know, topping that mark set back in 2021, what does it mean about this, breaking that mark today? Yeah, it's just a lot of guys, like I said, just they, they, they were just in the moment and uh, took some really good swings on, on good pitches. You know, we walked we walk plenty, we moved baseball plenty, uh, but they just, hitting's contagious. So everybody wants to hit and, and get after it. And so when they started to get it going, even the guys on the bench, uh, they, they were looking to do damage. So what a, what, a great, what a great day, what a great weekend. You know, speaking of these young, young guns, you know, what does it say about this team that these young players, you know, even when coming into Sunday, they are continuing to make a mark on this team. Yeah. They're making, like, like what you said, they're making the same like, oh, yeah, yeah, I deserve to play on this team just Absolutely. as good as the seniors. Yeah, and I think that's that's part of our culture of they understand how important they are to our team. It's not just about the seniors or the transfers. The freshmen are really important. Even some of the guys that are getting to play, they, they see how we go about things. They see how we, we do days. And this is the first weekend of the dugout, you know, for, for real baseball. So really proud of how those guys have showed up every day and take it in like a sponge. And when they get the opportunity, they're taking advantage of it. So 56 runs in the first three games. Uh, how do you continue this? I mean, it's a long season. How do you how do you keep it going? Well, if we continue this, we'll be the best hitting team in the entire country for the for the history. But we know it's not going to go like this forever. So I just told the team is you got to take the momentum. But it's a work week. We're going to get back to work on Tuesday uh, for a really good staff. We're going to face this weekend. I'm not, I haven't done any recruiting or uh, scouting on or Roberts, but I know they're a really good program. With uh, they won their first three games, as they won today. But uh, they're going to be really good. And so we got to go back to work. Obviously, what we've been doing has been working. But as soon as you get complacent in this. Game, game that'll help you so you got to go back to work and make sure you're ready to go for the next weekend you know as much as we talk about the offense you know the pitching staff you know was allowing keeping the runs to the minimum how you know despite uh, Nathan getting the start having like a bit of that shaky uh -huh. go out uh, how do you think the pitching staff did today I thought our starting pitching was good. You know, we knew going into the day we had um, a lot of guys back there that haven't got the throne. That's kind of part of the reason we didn't we didn't play the run all day. We wanted in case it did happen, we we needed to guys to go to the mound. Uh, but we knew, you know, if if he could get us three, maybe four, uh, we had a lot of guys, you know, that were just rested back there, ready to go. So um, he, he did his job. Obviously, the third, I thought he ran into some bad luck too. Yeah. All got in the sun, some bloopers. Um, but then, you know, like I said, maybe on a different Sunday he might have went back out there and pitched some more. But with Ruby and Bush and all those guys rested, we wanted to get them in. So. Uh, you know, I think we got to continue to find our depth on the mound, um, out of the bullpen a little bit. You know, you, and this it gets lost in the shuffle a little bit because you're winning by so much. So, uh, got to continue to figure that out. And guys, got to continue to step up, and they will, especially when we have our five game week coming up. You know, had a little bit of a shaky inning in that half. Uh -huh. uh, what was like when kind of all that, you know, despite having a big league, when all that stuff's going on, how do you just kind of just calm the team down and just try to finish this? Game? Yeah, I mean, if it was a closer game, it'd probably be a little bit more stressful. But you know, we knew we had guys that were could come in and throw strikes, and eventually gets out. So just part of it sometimes. So we, we just move past it really fast. And now uh, getting a sweep of another Big Ten team this year. How good is this start to start the season out with the season sweep against a Power Five team? Like yeah, Win winning's hard. Winning's hard. At, no matter who you play. Um, you know, it seems to be bigger when you, when you beat the Power Five, and so, uh, but you know, anytime you sweep somebody, that's really hard to do. So, really proud of how our guys just showed up each and every day with their energy, their effort, and then obviously their execution of the game plan.